Hi, I'm Mark Ellis, and this is another Discraft Pro Clinic. Today, it is the Long Distance Driving Clinic, and I have brought for seven of the top R's on the Discraft team who are going to blast some shots and talk about how they do it, why they do it, and what works for them. We have with us today, from Houston, Texas, Robbie Bratton, 22 years of age, just joined the, the Discraft team, and my understanding is that he has a cannon. Greg Barsby from Grass Valley, California, who just came in second in the Discraft Great Lakes Open in a playoff. And who did he lose to today? 24-year-old Kale LaVisca from St. Paul, Minnesota. We have the youngest member of the Discraft professional team. The current reigning amateur world champion just turned pro, Paul Uliberry from Sholo, Arizona. Our California member, 21 years of age, Robert McEntee from Huntington Beach, California. From Cincinnati, Ohio, 25 years of age, Matthew Blakely. And the oldest guy here, 29 years old, Farmington Hills, Michigan, Critter Bill Fem. We are on hole number 13 here on the famed toboggan course in uh, Michigan. The hole plays way uphill and there's a bunch of orange flags that are out here. The first flags are at 300 feet. The top of the hill, the farthest flags, are at 500 feet. Just to give you an idea what we're looking at, in order to get to the basket, you go 150 feet past the top flag. Okay, here we go. I would say good balance, good follow through, 75% of your overall power is good control and that's what's going to give you ultimate distance. Continue to try, continue to play. I think that's the best thing I can tell anybody at this point, is uh, don't give it up, it's a great game. After playing a little bit, you learn and you just you always develop and just get better as you play because your arm speed will get better, your snap will get better, everything like that really helps and drive farther. It's one of the easiest ways to get better is to actually hands-on work with a local pro. If you're able, talk to them, let them work with you, tweak, they can help tweak your form, tell you some different things that can specifically help you. Back at home, I had a guy, real big guy, but he'd do a standstill about 450, two finger snap, and just crush it. You can hear the snap across the whole park. It's just insane watching him. So seeing that just made me want to throw further and further. Just the flight of a disc is one of the most beautiful things you can see. And by watching all the other guys throw far, you pick up little things here and there that work for you. Everyone has a different background in sports or whatever they do. Everyone has a different style. So by picking up little things here and there of everyone around you, it can only make you that much better. A little bit of form here and there. Power does help, but that will come over time with the motion of throwing. So by picking up the little things here and there will also help you out. I know the first time I ever wanted to throw far, I went to a league for my first time and I saw probably about a 70 year old just crush one way further than mine and I was like, better get better. <laughs> Always remember, smooth is far. That's uh, one of the biggest sayings in disc golf, in ball golf, any sport.
Yeah, okay. that's what's appealing about the game is let one let a couple fly pretty nice and uh, watch the full flight of it. Um, that's probably what got me hooked right away. I also throw out the Z Avenger for extra glide. Yeah, being relaxed is key for me too. I mean, if I tighten up, that's when I'll shank one and I try to rip it as hard as I can and turn one over. So if I stay nice and relaxed, nice follow through, that's the distance that I, can, that I need. I think uh, to throw to throw farther, you have to you have to have a, like a centered core. I think that if you're a little off, then you'll tend to shank it or you tend to throw it left. If you have a centered core, and I think you'll throw as, as the maximum that you can throw. If you have if you're centered, that's everything. Just throw over and over. Try to throw the next one further. Uh, I used to just go out in the field and throw over and over and over again uh, until I couldn't feel my arm, pretty much. And uh, that that's helped me a lot. I uh, throw the ESP Predator. It is uh, super fast and overstable. Thanks for joining us for the Long Distance Driving Clinic. If you watch the videos of these top pros, you watch them over and over, what you do is you visualize yourself in their bodies and you mimic their form. And one day, you'll throw as far as they do.